In this video, I'm going to answer common questions I keep seeing about LTX Studio. Even if you're a pro, you will learn some tips and tricks along the way. How do I change the look of a frame? In each frame of a scene, you have a prompt box. In there, it gives a description of whatever prompt you use initially when you were doing the setup of your movie. But if you're not satisfied with what LTX Studio has created, all you have to do is highlight it, delete it, and just write in a new prompt. Can I change characters after creating a scene? Yes, you can do this and it can be done in one of two ways. Much in the same way with the frame, you can just highlight only the character that's listed and just hit delete and it will remove the character from the frame. You can also create a new character by clicking on the cast button and then clicking on add character and just type in the same attributes that you would normally do when it comes to creating characters. Hit done and then once you're ready, you can just type in the at symbol for that new character and you'll be able to add it to the frame. Is there a way to upload a movie script to LTX Studio and have it create scenes? If you click on visualize your concept, or you can click the upload button and upload a completed script into LTX. Just keep in mind that you're limited to about 12,000 characters, which equates to roughly seven to 10 pages. The average movie script is about 90 to 130 pages, according to Google. How do I extend frames in a scene? Click on shot editor and you can go through each and every frame and select the ones that you want. You'll see a selected button in the top right corner when you click on it. You can do this by either clicking the extend button where it says extend duration on the side, or you can come down to motion. It starts at three seconds and then you can extend them up until 12 seconds. How do I change camera angles in motion? So still within shot editor, there's a motion section on the right hand side. You can select between scene, natural, extreme, or custom. If you click on custom, you can do things like dolly in, dolly out. You can do panning and a few other camera angles. Just keep in mind, not every camera angle is captured, such as a tripod shot, but over time, this should improve. What kind of computing power is required to run LTX Studio? LTX Studio is completely online and works within a web browser. As long as your computer can run a web browser efficiently, which is most computers in the last five to 10 years, there shouldn't be any issue using LTX Studio in the browser of your choice. How to increase the amount of characters in the narration field. To do this, you'll wanna add more frames within the scene. So generally speaking, by default, LTX Studio, when creating a scene, may only add one frame to the scene. And then when you're clicking on scene narration, it's capped at 30 characters. You can just add more frames to the scene. And what that'll do is it'll increase the amount of characters you can add in the narration of that scene. In this example, there were two additional scenes added. And you can see now the character narration default has changed from 30 to 90 characters. Can the animated characters talk with lip sync? Not yet, but the workaround would be to export one of your videos and then come over to Pika Labs, upload your video, and you'll see there's a lip sync button. If you click on that, write in the text that you want your character to say, you'll be able to generate a voice. Pika uses 11 labs, and then you can go ahead and generate the voice, or you can upload a voice file of your own to have the character lip sync. Keep in mind that on Pika, this lip sync option is for paid accounts only. Can LTX Studio be used to create educational videos? The platform isn't quite there yet on educational videos, but if you're comfortable only just having a video narrated, the workaround would be to create shorter clips of that narration on a topic which you would then merge together in your own video editor of your choice. Can LTX Studio be used with other languages? Well, right now there's only English, but if other AI video generators start incorporating other languages, it's only a matter of time before LTX Studio would do the same. What kind of computing hours would you get by signing up? For the free plan, you get one hour per month, which means you should be able to create multiple shots within a scene. And then they have ranges going from three to 25 hours, depending on the paid plan that you choose. How can I get access? You can request access to LTX Studio by navigating to ltx.studio. They have a wait list, but are providing access to users on a regular basis. A faster way to get access though is through their Discord group where they grant access to users on a daily basis. Are there any questions that you have about LTX Studio that I haven't answered? Put them in the comments. If you got value out of this video, consider subscribing to my channel and liking the video. This helps the algorithm so my content can reach other creative people like you who have a passion for all things AI. And if you're looking for more, I have some content popping up that you can click on right here.